Welcome back to Mobile Tech Road. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the official Android 2.2 for your ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S. Um, this is the latest ROM that's available right now on Samsung server. This is the JPA build. As you can see at the bottom right here. And there isn't that much uh, difference between this one and the latest JP6 build that I shot uh, in video uh, just two months ago. Uh, this one is the official final build and uh, it fixed uh, some bugs, some performance issues that were present in the previous build that was taken down by Samsung just a few days after uh, being released. So. Uh, as you can see it's smooth I'm gonna access uh, the applications I didn't install much this is a fresh boot up fresh install I just added just a couple of applications like TweetDeck uh, Adobe Reader etc um, and Angry Birds obviously so I'm gonna give you a quick tour of this So. I'm gonna head up the browser. There's nothing new. Uh, I already shot a video of the browser a few days ago compared to the Samsung Gamma Gear 7. Performance is super fast when loading web pages. I'm on Wi-Fi connection right now. The only issue I have with this browser is uh, navigation speed, scrolling and panning is a little bit choppy, as you can see right here. And this is. Uh, on my website you know it's a simple website there's nothing going on um, so I'm gonna open a news post that contains embedded YouTube videos and uh, this has a flash 10.1 installed and frankly I just wished I could go back to the previous Android 2.1 browser because I just don't like the way it acts, I had to uh, disable the plugin and set it to on demand. So when I tap on this blank space, it will load up the Flash plugin, and I can later on play the videos either through the web browser or through the YouTube application. And this is what I'm going to try to do right now and the issue here is that I have to first tap on it wait till it loads tap again to open it in the YouTube application so here we are in the new YouTube application you can download it right now uh, from the Android market and frankly it's super neat I'm gonna lower the volume a bit uh, sorry and you have the video playing right here, you just have to rotate the phone to see the video in full screen you can see through your video using this cursor right here and I can rotate back here, you have access to all your related videos, comments, etc and uh, I can flag the video, you know, it's really a fully featured YouTube client it's really great it's smooth I'm gonna access my channel um, the UI is really simple to use it has this real nice pivot navigation system similar to what we have on Windows 1.7 and so this was the YouTube application I'm gonna go back and try to that's right go back to the web browser I'm gonna quit the web browser and you have the uh, task manager here which can access uh, via this widget or by long pressing the home key and tapping here and can end all my running application and I also have access to a lot of other features you get RAM management summary to storage and a little help here that explains how to better use your phone and not join your battery life 
and these are all my installed application third-party application that I can install directly from here anyway now I'm gonna jump into the latest Google Maps uh, navigation application uh, it's the same on all phones it's super smooth on uh, Samsung Galaxy S one thing that didn't work well in the previous JP6 ROM was the street view feature of Google Maps uh, the digital compass was acting funny so it was really unusable so now I'm gonna try to go into a random street here in Paris and see if it works and yes as you can see the digital compass is working as it should and it's frankly working pretty nicely really sensible I can just rotate and it's actually looking like as if there was a free access gyroscope in there I can't confirm it but uh, it's really smooth really nice and it's good to see that Samsung fixed the issue so this was street view on Google Maps so as I said before uh, this is exactly the same ROM as the previous one the only difference is the performance it's uh, you know it's a lot snappier and smoother so I'm not gonna give you a tour of all the applications because you probably know how they all look like so this is what's on the device right now here you go you have the FM radio you have the calculator you know this is pretty basic stuff I'm gonna go back I'm gonna show you the music application as you can see it loads up pretty quickly I admit I don't have a lot of music on the phone right now but anyway I'm just gonna go into this song show you how it looks like you can go into landscape mode you have access to the surround sound feature right here that's enabled only when you plug in headphones and that's what I'm gonna do right now I just plugged in the headphones right now and I can enable the surround sound mode I'm gonna exit this and as you can see I have direct access to the playback functionality oops and now if I turn it off and turn it back on you'll see that I have also access to the same playback functionality is directly on the lock screen and this is only available when I have the headphones plugged into the device sorry I'm gonna turn back on so I'm gonna stop it here we go I'm gonna go into this I'm gonna unplug the headphones and kill the music application so as you saw it's all super fast super snappy you know it doesn't take a while to load up uh, Samsung did a pretty good job the only issue here is that the back button just doesn't work to go back into the video list you'll have to use the on-screen button right here this is the only major bug I I see it in this ROM. It was also present in the present ROM, in the previous ROM. Sorry. Oh, another thing is that when you take pictures, you have the GPS that's automatically triggered on, and I just can't find a way to disable this in the camera application, and this kind of sucks because all the photos you'll take are going to be geo geotagged and there's just no way to turn it off and this is the camcorder mode so I guess that the only way to disable this is to actually disable Google location and the settings menu anyway I'm not going to do this right now I'm going to try that later on but uh, this is a little bit annoying so this is the application installed oh and this is there's something pretty neat here if I can find it oh this is a 
some sort of Samsung hub which gives you access to a couple of free applications provided by Samsung you have some demos light versions of some application and uh, other free, free application like the task manager and some widgets and I was pleasantly surprised to see that they also offer you uh, the racing game Asphalt 5 for free so this is uh, pretty cool and here is the DLNA application it's the same as before nothing has changed here now I'm gonna run the Quadrant uh, 3D benchmark first off I'm gonna show you the system information so this is running Froyo 2.2 the current frequency of the CPU is 200 megahertz we have the resolution, the screen refresh rate, the GPU, which is a Power V R S G X 540, and the free uh, the 3D drivers are actually only running OpenGL ES 1.1 and not 2.0. And here are all the OpenGL extensions supported by the current drivers. So let's run the benchmark and I didn't install any patch, any fix, any driver. This is a, a fresh official Android 2.2 ROM and you can obviously have better performance if you use a homebrew or cooked uh, firmware. But I'm just going to show you how the device performs out of the box with Samsung's own uh, official uh, Android 2.2 uh, firmware so let's wait till it finish can show you the frame rate right here let's look at the results and you can see that it's uh, slightly faster than a regular Samsung Galaxy S but still slower than uh, the Motorola Droid, the Evo, uh, the Droid X and the Nexus one with 2.2 plus but just don't uh, really pay too much attention to this benchmark I just wanted to show you how uh, it looks like and uh, just uh, basic results with the standard edition but as you saw earlier in the video all the performance of the device is really good you can run uh, 3D applications without any problem I'm just gonna load up Asphalt 5 and show you how it looks like you always have the game left video you'll see that the performance is extremely good super smooth gonna go into a quick race It's running extremely well. Oops. It ain't easy shooting a video and playing at the same time, sorry. Anyway, so this was the 3D performance of the Samsung Galaxy S. This was a quick tour, same ROM, 
but better performance frankly it's really pleasant to use uh, the user experience is not as good as on Windows Phone 7 or on the iPhone but that's just my opinion uh, but frankly it did a pretty good job uh, I didn't install any lag fix or anything this is a fresh install uh, I can access Google uh, Gmail right here it's super fast same for the YouTube application uh, everything is running smoothly can go here go back into my channel and uh, as you can see it's really fast really smooth I can and go back here it's really a joy to use fully featured um, just can't wait to see how Android uh, 2.3 works on the Galaxy S once it's released it's probably gonna take a few months anyway but uh, uh, yeah Samsung did a pretty good job it took a while but uh, this ROM is really really great I didn't encounter any big bug or performance issue um, other than the, you know this crawling and panning performance in the web browser but uh, it's really good ROM here's the dialer you also have video calling because this is the European version of the Samsung Galaxy S which you can access right here so this was a quick tour you can follow mobiletechworld.com or mobiletechworld.tv on YouTube I'm gonna shoot a couple more videos comparing it to the Samsung Omnia 7 uh, in a few days so thanks for watching